Penang Court was constructed in 1905 at the cost of 200,000 straight dollars. It's designed based on British Palladian architecture with elements of impressive Greek glory and ionic columns. The original Penang High Court or Supreme Court, as it was called in the colonial days, had five high courts. During this restoration process, they have built one more similar building beside the court to be part of the offices and library to keep a lot of book about the law and judgment system. At the same time, the glass windows also have been added to close the open part of the building. The dome and the wood stairs also have been fixed and preserved to make these important parts stronger than before. The building is rich with attractive, unique patterns and architectural details. One of the highlighted motifs is the one in the decorated dome. This dome was invisible during the refurbishment process, was held as covered by a carved wooden ceiling. The dome is made of stained glass and the frame of cast iron. It is covered with stucco finish on the exterior and inner finishing timber ceiling. The peacock motifs on the dome and intricate carvings on the copper walls were to be the attractiveness for this building. Peacock pattern is a symbol of the East India Company. Supreme Court uses a lot of ceramic surfaces as it have a relatively longer life if compared to most of the other materials used for flooring. Concrete pillars influenced by Corinthian columns were used as the main supportive structure inside the Supreme Court. As for the ceiling, timber strips were used as a main material for the ceiling. Timber strips is one of the few natural building materials in Supreme Court. Timber is a natural insulator and can reduce energy needs, especially when it is used as the flooring material. Penang High Court building also uses a lot of wood because the right wood helps to tackle the climate change. To effectively tackle climate change, we must remove carbon from the atmosphere as well as reduce new carbon emissions into the atmosphere. With the rise of various European colonial empires from the 16th century onwards through the early 20th century, the new stylistic trends of Europe were exported to or adopted by locations around the world, often evolving into new regional variations. The simplicity of colonial designs and honest use of materials with more economical plans than the recently popular picturesque homes also contributed to the growing popularity of the style. Even a century after modern architecture was introduced, Colonial revival motifs continue to be popular in new constructions.